Hey guys, I'm Allison, I'm the Pampered Wife. Today I have empties. I think I must have skipped September. I've got this huge, whole thing is full of empties. So I feel like I've got a lot to cover. I'm going to try to move quickly. You know, I can get carried away talking about these things. It is a hobby of mine. So I'm gonna try to get moving through them. Uh, sorry I missed last week. If you watch me regularly, you know I upload one video a week, typically on Mondays, sometimes later in the week. This past week was crazy. It totally got away from me. We spent one day in the ER for my husband. He's fine on uh, now some steroids and antibiotics, like every six hours an antibiotic, which is a little crazy. I mean, he definitely had an issue, <clears throat> but he's going to be fine. And I don't even remember what else. Just the week completely got away from me. So my apologies. And let's jump in to all of my conscious beauty clean items. That's redundant, isn't it? I'm just going to pull stuff out. I actually filmed most of this video at one point and then my camera shut down and said it was full which i don't even save my videos to my camera i save them to my computer hopefully we don't have any issues today also hopefully the lighting is better today i don't know what happened with the lighting in the last video it was a little wonky and then somehow when it gets uploaded to youtube i turn orange i don't know i think youtube must do something with the shading or something because i swear i'm not orange and purple in purple. First up is this body scrub by the Seaweed Bath Company. It's for detox exfoliating with French clay and coffee extract. I had the shade Enlighten, which is lemongrass and grapefruit. I love this. I would definitely purchase again. I wish it weren't in plastic. That's really my only complaint. Otherwise, I loved it. It's a formula that is not greasy. It doesn't leave your shower floor greasy and slippery like pretty much every other body scrub I've ever used. It's gentle enough. I don't feel any scratching. There are no big particles. It does nothing gross and only good things. I feel good. It smells good. And I, I love this product. This is my favorite body scrub. I've not replaced it with anything right now. I am using a loofah that my mother-in-law grew in her own yard because that's how my mother-in-law is. She grows loofahs and everything else. And it's super soft, so I wouldn't say it's exfoliating. So I haven't replaced this product just yet. Next, we've got this Fit Glow Night Essence. It is in refillable packaging. It's a spray, has Bacuchiol, which is a an alternative to retinol. It's a plant-based alternative to retinol, but it's not the same as retinol, but apparently has some similar effects. It was nice. I enjoyed the scent. I don't know that it did anything. I really enjoy a spray. I've just found I really like the hydration and if it smells nice. I'm not repurchasing this. I will keep the bottle in case or the packaging in case I do find myself replacing it at some point. Right now I'm still using the Day Essence from Fit Glow and loving that one. Next I have a shampoo and conditioner. This is the Function of Beauty shampoo and conditioner. The way these work is they're basically uh, formulated for your particular hair. I got these at Target. There's a kiosk. You go in and choose your base hair product. So this is for wavy hair, both the shampoo and conditioner, because that's what I chose. And then you choose some additives like frizz control, color protectant, and I did one other thing I don't remember. I used these about I don't know, maybe a week or so, developed contact dermatitis to the fragrance, according to my dermatologist. So I had a rash all down the back of my neck and behind my ears. I thought I was having eczema, which I've never had before because it was dry and flaky and itchy, but it was contact dermatitis. Never had that before in my life, but apparently this fragrance irritated me. I didn't like the way it smelled anyway, which is pretty typical of me. This is another hair product. Actually, my husband used it. I didn't. It's Dr. Squatch. This is the Cypress Coast. It's men's natural shampoo with oat protein, jojoba oil, and honey. It is sulfate and paraben free. My husband and my son love this brand. I'm including it because they adore it. They make soaps and um, deodorants. My teenage son will eat well, not even will use their deodorant, even does. They subscribe, my husband and son subscribe to monthly deliveries of these products. If you have a man in your life or if you're into this kind of thing, I mean, I feel like it could be unisex. 
but it's specifically marketed toward men. Check this out, Dr. Squatch. It's so much fun and they love it. This is my beloved Andalou Naturals leave-in conditioner with argan oil and shea. I absolutely love this leave-in conditioner. I've currently, oh, I forgot. So backtracking a moment, the function of beauty, what I've replaced it with for shampoo and conditioner in my shower now is the Vegamore shampoo and conditioner because I've been having some hair loss issues and I don't know if the shampoo and conditioner from Vegamore really works to help retain your hair or not. They definitely have growth serums, which I haven't tried, but that's what's in my shower now. I haven't developed any sensitivities to it. I've been using it for a couple weeks now and that's been going well. So this is my favorite leave-in conditioner, the Andalou Naturals. It's been in pretty much any MDS video I've done for years now. I don't even know. I've only had my channel like a year and a half, but years. I love it. I have coarse, not super coarse actually. My hair's gotten finer as I've gotten older, but it's still frizzy and wavy, and this does not weigh my hair down. I use a regular shampoo, regular conditioner in the shower, come out, put this in while my hair is still wet or damp, and it just really does a lot to control the frizz and flyaways, and it makes my hair so soft. It's not really scented, and I like that about it. I'm not repurchasing right now. I'm gonna try to work through things that I already have. I'm really trying to do that, not purchase new things. I've said that before, except for makeup, because you know you need variety when it comes to makeup. But I just have so many samples and trial sizes and backups of things that I really wanna work through them. And right now, uh, that's what I'm doing. No particular product in mind, just using something that's already in my stash. This is the Drunk Elephant Slay makeup melting butter cleanser. It is a first step cleanser. I cannot focus today or my camera won't. All right, we'll just hold everything back here. It's a first step oil cleanser. It's all gone. It's not scented, but it does have a scent or smell of, I think it's marula oil that I must smell and I really like it. It's just light the scent, I mean. It does have a magnetized top, so you have this little spoon that you can scoop it out with so you don't have to dig your fingers in. It is solid at room temperature, but it's not as hard as like a coconut oil or as crumbly. It's definitely softer, and I quite liked it. I didn't think I was gonna like it so well, but it turns out I really liked it. It's just no frills, kind of basics, works, gets everything off. It does leave a little bit of residue on my skin, which I'm okay with because I do go in with a second cleanse, like a regular cleanser. I also tried these Marie Veronique products. One of them is the Pure ENO Free Oil Cleanser. I did a whole review on the Marie Veronique products, so I'm not gonna go into this. It's not my favorite. If you wanna know more about it, I will link the video I did on her products, and you can watch all about that because there's also the Balancing Hypotonic that is included in that video. And I'm trying to think what I'm using now, if I'm using anything. Um, it's not at all the same, but I am using the Josh Rosebrook Toner, Exfoliating Toner, and as far as first step oil cleansers. I'm using a Fit Glow uh, oil cleanse. This is the St. Jane Sea Drops. It's a luxury brand. It's absolutely beautiful. The packaging is beautiful. It's heavy glass with a dropper. I got this very recently and when I opened it, uh, I'll just include a picture since my camera is not wanting to focus on anything, but it has this pink in it and vitamin C drops when they go bad turn more of an orange never seen one with pink I looked online to see should these drops have pink in it like maybe one of the ingredients is pink no it shouldn't St. Jane was amazing sent me a completely new one and told me not to use this just to discard it and they also included their beauty serum which is very expensive and a cult kind of product so I've not incorporated that yet, but I am using the vitamin C drops. I've also emptied this Honest Beauty Hydrogel Cream, which I got at Target. I'm kind of a big fan of the Honest Beauty stuff. I don't actually use a lot of it, but I think it's really good. Actually, I have one other product in here from them. It, well, you'll see what I have to say about that one. Anyway, this is a gel uh, 
moisturizer. It's supposed to have these bursts of water um, that are so small that you don't really feel them, but that kind of burst apart as you rub it into your skin. This was a really nice, light, unscented moisturizer. I quite enjoyed it. I'm not using daytime moisturizers right now, and this for me with my dry skin and aging skin is definitely a daytime moisturizer. So I'm not using daytime moisturizers because sunscreen is a moisturizer, and I just don't want to put too many products on in the morning. One is laziness, two is I don't like the feel of a bunch of stuff on my face. And it was just a really nice moisturizer. I do recommend it if you're looking for a lightweight moisturizer that is water-based and simply that, a moisturizer. It doesn't have any of your serum type ingredients, no vitamin C or antioxidants or anything, which I love because sometimes I just want moisture. This is another Honest Beauty product. This is their Calm and Go Face Mist. I wasn't super impressed with it. I think it's Panthenol. Can be used with or without makeup. I bought it for moisturization and I can't remember now. I didn't find it to be super moisturizing. I don't remember what the uh, sprayer is like or the mist. That seems like a nice mist unscented. I've just had it for a long time and hadn't used it up, so I'm decluttering it. Nothing good or bad to say about this. Like, just, I didn't notice any benefit. No harm. This is the Pie Light Work Rose Hip and Rose Hip Fruit Extract Cleansing Oil. We've already discussed what I'm using for a cleansing oil. This was lovely. I said it didn't really work, but it turns out I just wasn't using enough. So um, it was lovely. It's expensive. It doesn't work better than any other product, so I'm not going to be repurchasing it. This is the Pi Heavy Metal Body Calm. It's, I thought it was a hand lotion. Maybe it's a body lotion. Also beautiful. Loved it. Lightweight, but really moisturizing, sinks in. I love the scent. Maybe it's the rose hip or Fergonia and Sea Buckthorn. It is a hand cream, rescue hand cream. Um, okay, I cannot twist this off. I was gonna try to twist that off. Uh, yeah, I, I can't smell anything right now. It has this lovely yellow color. It's a beautiful product. It's more luxurious feeling. Not that the packaging is so luxurious, but the product itself just feels luxurious. And as a pampering thing, I might get that again. I, I certainly would purchase it again. If I weren't always trying new products and things, I would certainly get that again. This is the Rescue RX Daily Keratin Treatment for Nails. Looks like it's by C&D. I got this oh, after I got a manicure because my cuticles. I had lots of hangnails. My cuticles were a mess and I just got it. It's not any kind of cleaner or conscious beauty product that I'm aware of. I mean, if you can read these ingredients, feel free and let me know. I'm sure I could look online. It is scented. The scent didn't make me sneeze, but I thought it was going to. It applies like nail polish. You just put it right on. It definitely worked but I'm not gonna repurchase it. I just don't wanna have scented things. I'm so sensitive to everything. Um, so right now I am using the Karma Organics like cuticle butter. I got the Karma Organics cuticle oil. It didn't really do anything for me. I'm not sure what that product's for. Maybe it's for someone who doesn't have such issues like I do. So then I also got their cuticle butter or cream or something and I'll let you know how that goes by the time I get to the empties. <laughs> This is a trial or travel size of the Alpen Beauty Plant Genius. I'm just not an Alpen Beauty fan. I've tried several of their products, including their under eye cream. I think there's nothing wrong with it. It's just my skin doesn't jive with their ingredients. It just wasn't moisturizing at all for me or certainly not enough. Maybe as a daytime moisturizer under makeup, it would have worked or under sunscreen. But like I said, I'm not looking for that and it was unscented. I just, it was just kind of pointless for me. Looks like we have finally reached some makeup. This, I put in one of the Fit Glow sample containers. Fit Glow, if you ever order anything from them, they always send samples of products and they're glass with a plastic screw on top. And I had gotten a, an Ilia liquid highlighter sample at one point, like from Credo or something, 
it's just old, so I'm decluttering it. It was very pretty. I felt like it removed my foundation, and I'm not sure exactly which shade, if this is the rose gold one, or they have a more golden one. It's very pretty. Hope you can see that. I will not be repurchasing it because like I said, I feel like it removed my foundation underneath and I just have some other products that I prefer. So that's that. Did I say I think it's old and that's why I'm getting rid of it at this point? It comes in a, like a pouch and you clip off or cut off, tear off the corner of it. And there was so much in it that I had to put it in a container, by the way. It was a very generous size sample. Like if you can get that, do because it'll last you such a long time that you probably the the you don't need the full size. This is the Bite Beauty. I forgot the special name. It's their mascara upswing, upswing like volumizing mascara, full volume mascara. No readers. I'm proud of myself. And this was my summer favorite mascara. It was definitely volumizing. It flaked a little bit by the end of the day, but not something I couldn't handle. This is what the wand looks like. It's like violin shaped, I think they call it. And just the regular old bristles, like pipe cleaner bristles. I've just had it long enough that it's time to go. It was still, you know, there is still some in there. And this is actually the mini size. So I love these mini sizes of everything, especially if you like to try a product out before you spend a whole bunch of money on it. This I think is like $13, something like that. They have it in the little bins at Sephora and uh, it lasted a really long time and I loved it. I definitely recommend it. And it, this one, by the way, is volumizing. It's not lengthening, but it did lift my lashes nicely. And yeah, definitely recommend this. Would, will most likely be repurchasing it. I just have a back stock of mascaras right now that I want to break into. And again, I'm really trying to commit to not purchasing new items until I've gone through my old ones. This, I believe, is gonna be my last product. Yeah, this is the last one I'm gonna talk about. I love this. This is a 100% pure one of their palettes. It is the Punk Princess palette. I think it hasn't been available for a while. It does have a mirror and a highlighter. Whoop, a highlighter, a blush, um, this one was like an inner corner highlight and then I used this all over and then of course you could accentuate with this or line your eyes with this is typically what I did. I hardly ever used the black just because it seemed harsh for these other colors and I would, I, anyway, I loved this. Whenever I wore this palette, I got compliments on more of the eyes. Just something about this brown. I wonder if I can buy the brown by itself. I think it's called Private Show. There's just something about it. I'm decluttering it because it's old and it's probably time to go. They use fruit pigments to color their stuff. Yeah, wow, These have it has beautiful ingredients. Rice starch, rosehip oil, avocado butter, cocoa seed butter, pigmented extracts from pomegranate, cranberry, strawberry, I mean, I, they the ingredients are just so nice uh, but so it's it's old I can't tell if it says six months or ten months on here I've definitely had it for several years so I'm decluttering it it's still war great I love it powder products you can definitely keep longer than your cream products but it's time to go all right I'll save the rest for next time they're just little piddly things you guys, I had my hair colored yesterday. It looked so good. She like blew it dry. It looked so good. And I wanted to film this video yesterday, but I just didn't get around to it. Time just got away from me. Anyway, it looked so good. And now I had to put it up because my ends are all frizzy, but she made it look so pretty. Let us know in the comment section if you've used any of these products, what you think of them, or what you suggest, if you have an alternative to any of these, or if there's something you want me to try. I'm really not purchasing new things, except makeup. Um, but I'm trying to use go through my makeup too and not purchase new. Like I've seen a lot of new things that I've not gotten, including the Tower 28 SPF foundation, because I've got things that I really wanna work through. So if you want me to try something like that, let me know and I will. <laughs>
Uh, but otherwise, I should have more empties for you and I'm just gonna cycle through. Everything I've mentioned will be listed in the description box down below with a link for your convenience. It's not an affiliation link or anything like that. And I also list what is on my face if you like any Thing or, or, or think it looks terrible and think, oh my gosh, I would never wear that. <laughs> that will also be listed in the description box below. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at any point. I would love to have you subscribe and leave a comment. And in the meantime, I hope you're finding time to pamper yourself today. Bye.